Hey guys, it is Coach Chris here, and I know you guys are getting ready to start the 22 minute hardcore workout program. And so, what I wanted to do was shoot a quick video and give you guys five different tips um, that I thought about um, that might be beneficial to you before we actually get started. So, let's start right off the top with uh, tip number one preview the workouts. Um, this is really, really important if you've never done any of these workouts before. Um, just pop the DVD in, watch the first. Um, round of exercises because they all just kind of repeat but so if you're not familiar with the different workouts different um, style of exercises that um, are included in this this program highly encourage you to pop in that DVD either the day before or a couple days before um, you're actually scheduled to do that workout and just get familiar with it um, get familiar with the moves and make sure that you are um, able to to perform them you know have enough space in, in your workout area to do those particular moves you don't need a lot of space about 10 by 10 is plenty big 8 by 8 is probably ample enough too but you know get in there and preview those workouts okay so as you're previewing those workouts this is tip number two modifications as you're previewing those workouts make sure you take note of the modifications that are included or instructed as uh, they do the different exercises because you know for some of you that are starting out you may not be able to go full 180 uh, miles per hour when you first get started. So you may have to modify, you know, either that first, second, or third round of some of these exercises. So um, take note of the modifications that are included and, um, you know, again, try those out and see if you need to modify um, for some of those exercises. You may just not have the range of mobility. You may be, um, you may have an injury or you may just not be in that condition yet to, um, to do the full um, exercise and that is totally okay and that's what the modifications are for so make sure you take note of those modifications okay step number or tip number three um, the pace as you are previewing these workouts take note of the pace of these uh, different exercises and the different the, the the cadence that goes along with them because a lot of times what's happened is that, that I've found is it speeds up it slows down it speeds up it slows down and you may find that you just aren't able to keep up with their count. And I have that same problem. So don't get discouraged if you're not able to keep up with them. Just keep going. You know, ultimately if you do 20 versus 22 or 26 versus 25, you know, that is totally fine. Just keep going throughout the course of the exercise, the exercise um, uh, duration, if you will. And, you know, don't worry too much about getting the exact number of reps every time because as you get better at them, as you get more coordinated in the different uh, exercises, you'll be able to stay with them. Um, but they do go up and down. So, you know, in one uh, phase of the exercise, they'll be going super fast or at least a lot faster than they do in another one. So, you know, take note of that and um, don't get too discouraged about it. Okay, uh, tip number four is prepare or plan ahead. As I mentioned earlier, you're gonna need about eight by eight, um, an eight by eight area to work out in. So make sure that you have an area cleared before you get started, because some of these you're going side to side. Some of them, you know, you kind of get down, you do burpees. So you need that full eight feet. Uh, make sure there's nothing in your way before you get started. That way you don't get slowed down by that, um, you know, having to move some stuff out of the way before the exercise actually starts. Also with the resistance routines, make sure that when you're previewing those workouts, that you kind of take note or get a mental idea in your head of how much weight you need to use for that particular exercise and have it ready before the workout starts. You know, you should be able to, um, you know, recall the different exercises and know kind of what weight you might be able to use, especially if you've done them a couple different times, but have that weight ready to go. And if you need a couple different sets of dumbbells, um, or if you have different sets of dumbbells, make sure you get all of them out at the same time, but keep, make sure they're not in your, you know, eight by eight, 10 by 10 area so you don't trip or stumble over them. That would be not good. Um, okay, tip number five is share your experiences here. Um, you know, some of these workouts are gonna be harder than others for you. Some of them are gonna be um, a little bit humbling in that sense, but that's totally okay. Once you get going in all these exercises and all these different routines, you're gonna get better, I promise. You know, the first week, the first time you do all these different exercises, the different routines, you're probably going to feel like a stumbling, bumbling fool, or you're not going to feel like you are going to be able to keep up or going to be able to do this the, for the full 60 days. But don't get discouraged. Um, share your experiences with the group. They're going to be there to support you because I guarantee you someone else is going to have that same struggle, that same, 
you know, lack of confidence or whatever in the particular exercises. And so don't get discouraged about that. You know, it's, it's all part of the process, all part of, you know, getting better, getting just a little bit better each and every day. All right, guys, those are my five tips for the new 22 minute hardcore workout. I'm really excited for us to get started next week. And, um, I can't wait to see all the progress that you guys are going to make over the course of this 60 days. And, uh, really looking forward to getting to know some of you a little bit better. And, um, so stay plugged into the group, make sure you get the, the fit test, um, PDFs and all the different schedules, all the different things in the file section that you can download for the group. And, uh, let's rock this thing. Let's do this. Let's make this the best 60 days. And, you know, you'll be able to start the summer with, um, confidence in your, in the way you look, the way you feel. And, you know, that's what it's all about. So let's have a great 60 days, guys. I uh, look forward to it. See ya.